Down in sunny Florida, at the legendary Rick's on the River restaurant, they've come up with a jaw-dropping way to deal with those slippery dine-and-dash culprits. Now, meet Ken Brackens, the fearless second-generation owner of this Tampa gem. About two years back, he decided to go all-in on security, installing a whopping 16 cameras outside his eatery. But here's where it gets really spicy. He's not using them just to keep the bad guys out. Oh no, he's turned into a modern day Sherlock Holmes, shaming these Dine and Dash desperados right on social media. He's sharing footage of these dashers on Facebook for everyone to see. And you won't believe the results. Ken's caught almost a dozen of these Houdini wannabes, and they've all ended up coughing up the cash, and might I add, begging him to scrub those embarrassing videos from the internet. Ken spilled the beans to DailyMail.com saying, We believe it's been a deterrent for those that have been caught. They're embarrassed and hopefully won't do it again in the future. Now, let's dive into the latest episode of this real-life Dine and Dash drama. Recently, an employee confronted a lady in a fancy Mercedes in the parking lot. Cue the circus music, folks. The video zooms in on her face, capturing every detail and even snags her license plate. It's gone viral, racking up almost 9,000 views and hundreds of comments. Most folks are cheering on Ken's unconventional antics while giving this dine and dasher a piece of their mind. The caption on social media says it all. This latest Dine and Dasher spent her beer money on a fancy late model Mercedes. She refused to pay her entire tab because she said the wind blew over her pitcher of beer. There were only a few ounces of beer on the deck. True story. Ken's not buying her telltales, though. He told Tampa Bay Times, I think she's sticking to her story that it wasn't really a Dine and Dash and didn't owe the tab. Oh, the audacity. But wait, there's more. The feedback on this whole spectacle has been a roaring success. Ken says it's been overwhelmingly positive, and he noticed a drop in these Dine and Dash escapades since he started airing their dirty laundry. And get this, other restaurants have been calling him up, asking for tips on how to deal with their own serial Dine and Dashers. It seems Ken's become the guru of restaurant justice. Now, these unpaid tabs can sometimes run into the hundreds of dollars, but Ken's decided not to drag the cops into this. They have a lot to do. I don't want to bother them for this. But he's not leaving the Dine and Dashers scot-free. He's put up a sign warning customers that this is not a game. Dining and dashing in his joint could lead to a misdemeanor or even a felony. Since Ken unleashed this video vigilante campaign. He's nailed almost a dozen of these dine and dashers. And guess what? Nearly all of them came back to settle the bill. But Ken's got one gripe. They never tip. And they always have some excuse for why they forgot to pay. Some even got ratted out by their own family members. Talk about embarrassing. Ken chuckled. I have people call and be like, hey, I paid. Can you take it down? They get very angry. They say they're going to sue me. They're not coming down. That's the consequences of it. It's like the modern scarlet letter. From the looks of it, the internet's loving every minute of this Dine and Dash drama. So remember, if you're ever down in Tampa, you better pay that tab, or you might just become the star of the next viral video sensation. You won't believe what happened when this thief tried to steal from this jewelry store. Watch the jaw-dropping moment when the store workers fight back and how they made an unforgettable example of the thief.